up guys so we're on the way to the gym to hit arms right now um, it's gonna be a quick workout usually I don't spend too much time with or too much time isolating arms uh, for that matter just because it's one of those muscle groups that is gonna develop on its own um, you know while using all of your compound movements so it's something that hasn't been too important to me or that's not lagging enough to where I need to really focus time and energy um, where I think that I would better use that energy on other days, you know, like chest day, that's a big lagger for me, or uh, shoulders, so I'll show you guys what my workout looks like. Like I said, it's quick, go ahead, give it a try. It's about maybe 45 minutes long if you're, if you're pacing yourself right, nice slow rest times, but we're gonna finish with about 20 or so sets uh, towards the end of it, so it's still a lot of work um, for just arms so stay tuned with me guys hope you learned something and uh, like subscribe comments let me know what you guys think thanks all right guys machine gun arms the title of this video was inspired by this first frame here um, not just because I sped it up but because the actual workout had basically zero rest times or this first movement had zero rest times so I started with a supinated grip tricep extensions so palms up and then I took no rest and just kept going up in weight until I couldn't get more than eight reps and then I flipped my grip over to pronated or just a standard tricep extension went up a little bit more and then just dropped that back down um, so zero rest or very minimal no more than 10 15 seconds in between each one of these and then after I did that I just want single arm cable extensions, grabbing onto the ball of the cable there, and then just squeezing out, reaching across the body for that one. After that, I just dropped my cable down and did the same exact thing for biceps. Um, so I started palms down, and then so reverse bicep curls as heavy as I could, uh, no less than eight reps. Flip my grip over to my stronger position, and then same thing, went up a little bit more, and then came back down. Um, with biceps, my rest time was a little bit longer, uh, but not by much, so maybe 15, 20 seconds max with this one. So next movement uh, we're at is the dumbbell skull crusher. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm rotating my wrists out as I lock out. Um, this movement's definitely gonna help give you uh, a lot more of a squeeze in your triceps once you flip out like that and then when you're coming back down it's going to transfer the movement to the outside of your arm so you're definitely getting a really broad range in the back of your arm with this movement um, that's the benefit of doing it with dumbbells rather than a barbell um, I do do both but today I wanted to mix it up for you guys so I went with the dumbbells just to show you how that looked so after I did that big gauntlet in the beginning of the tricep extensions and bicep curls, I did two tricep movements. So this is my second one here. They're both four sets. Um, so this is just a cable tricep extension, cable push down. Um, the cables are controlled individually. So the goal here is just to keep them moving together all at the same time, get a good contraction at the bottom of the movement, squeeze it out. So about four sets of 12 here. Um, definitely gonna leave your triceps pumped after this. So on to biceps. Um, this is another awesome movement. It's a vertical preacher curl. So I'm using uh, the preacher curl in a way that my humerus or my upper arm is vertical the whole time. Um, you get a crazy amount of tension at the top, not so much at the bottom when your arms are completely straight, but it's really hard to get that weight moving. Uh, that's kind of the point of it. Go light with this one. Uh, trust me, it's gonna save you in the long run. And what I'm doing with this is supersetting it with just a regular standing curl. Um, as you can see here, I just come around the other side of the machine, use the same weight, and squeeze out a few more reps with it. Just pretty much go to failure here, maybe another six to eight reps. Um, pretty fatigued at this point. All right guys, last movement. I just finished off with some dumbbell uh, bicep curls. So nice and easy, just going for a good contraction. Uh, choose a weight here where you could get a solid eight 
to 10 reps uh, for about three sets. So I finished off with two bicep movements. The first one was four sets and that was a superset. So this last exercise, the dumbbell hammer curls, I just went for three sets um, just to kind of polish everything off, get the grip involved a little bit too, and then the outer part of the bicep. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, definitely a fun workout. It's quick, like I said. It took about 45 minutes, um, but you're getting three exercises with your biceps, three exercises with your triceps, so you're definitely getting the volume that you normally would with a workout. Um, but with that minimal rest time in the beginning and in between every other set, it's fast. So uh, you get high volume, high speed, it's gonna leave you gassed at the end. So give it a try, I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys are thinking. Thanks for watching guys.